Hey, this is Jake from Mito. I'm gonna show you how to use the Mito Python package. So Mito is a spreadsheet interface for Python. Once we have it downloaded, all we have to do is click this button here and it's gonna call the Mito sheet, which is our spreadsheet interface. Everything we do in this interface is gonna generate the equivalent Python in this code cell below. The other way of calling it is just writing these two lines of code, import Mito sheet and Mito sheet test sheet. Uh, the first thing I want to do is import some data. So I can do this one of a few ways. I can import local files. I can pass in any data frame. I can also import directly from enterprise data sources like Snowflake or Redshift or something like that. You can also pass in custom imports as well. I'm going to import a file. I'm going to bring in some Tesla stock data. And we see that when we do that, it automatically writes the code that turns that CSV file into a data frame. First thing I want to do here now is I'm gonna add a column. So let's rename this column to month. And we see that everything we're doing here is generating code. I am going to put month formula. We can use actual spreadsheet formulas in here. So I'm gonna use the month formula to pull the month out of this date column here. And here we get the code for adding a column, renaming it, and putting a formula inside that column. Let's make a pivot table off this. This is some Tesla stock data. I wanna look at the average daily, tra daily trading volume for each month. So I'm gonna click pivot here. We're gonna put uh, the month as the row and then as a value, we will put the volume and we're gonna put mean as our aggregation type here. Here we get a fully usable pivot table inside the minor sheet and below we get the code for this pivot table. And so let me just show you, if I rename this to, let's just call this pivot to make it simpler. We rename the pivot. If I call this pivot table out here at the data frame pivot, we see that this pivot table we made in the MITO sheet is a fully usable data frame within our notebook. So you can really go back and forth between MITO and the notebook pretty easily. Combination of spreadsheet interface and Python as well. We have this pivot table. Let's say we want to visualize this though. So I'm gonna click graph here. And as our x-axis, we'll put the month. And as the y-axis, we'll put the volume mean. There we go, we get a nice visualization. This is using Plotly here, and I can style this as well. So I'm going to pick some colors here. Let's put some plot background color. Let's make that green. There we go. And we can style in a lot of different ways as well, using all the normal Plotly customizations you're used to using. And we can export this chart. So we can copy the code that displays this graph. I'll click Copy. And I'm gonna press that into this cell here. You can see this is a huge chunk of code that might take a lot of time to write. Otherwise, going through the poly documentation in Mito is literally just a few seconds. And we get that chart within the notebook as well since it's Plotly, it's an interactive chart too, which is great. We can also copy the code to create a HTML file. So if you wanna send something interactive to someone, you can do that. Or you can download this as a PNG. You wanna put it into a PowerPoint or a Word doc or an Excel file, super easy to do. So there's lots of spreadsheet functionality in here. Um, you know, all the things you're used to using, doing in Excel, you can do in here and you'll generate the equivalent code for that. The last thing I'll show you is our AI feature. So let's say we want to take uh, the high column and turn it into a integer instead of a float. So I'll go to AI and say turn the high column into an integer. It'll do that. The Mito AI will write that code down here. But the thing that really makes Mito AI unique is that it's gonna visualize the edits that the AI is making in the Mito sheet itself. So when you're working with AI models for code generation, sometimes it's hard to know, did the AI model do what I want? Did it have the impact I was intending it to have? Mito visualizes for you the edits the AI is making. So you know, collaborating with the AI model, understanding what it's doing becomes much simpler with the visual interface, which is kind of the whole deal with Mito is a visual interface for your Python analysis. You're still gonna get the code and be able to use code in the notebook, but you'll get a visual, visual interface for understanding the model or for writing code much more quickly. Hope you check it out. You can go to uh, our documentation, docs.trimito.io, and you can get started here.